when we had the data after the first lockdown in May, and I understand why the first lockdown happened last year from March to May, because it it was all new. But when we had the data, I think um, I'm in line with David Blunkett. We could have given really strong advice to, to the elderly people, stay at home, um, look after yourselves, and we're going to give you all the advice you need. And we're actually going to uplift your pensions to make it worthwhile. And those of you with underlying health conditions, we want you to work from home where you can. And we'll give you a bonus on top of what your what your employer pays you. And those of you who can't work from home because your machinists are on the shop floor, but you have an underlying health condition, we'll pay you to stay at home and give you a bonus. And if you work in a, in a care home, we'll do two weeks on and two weeks off with testing before you go back. And if you dare suggest that as an alternative model, you are literally howled down at the moment. You are literally howled down. There's too many vested interests in the path that we followed. But I, I do a lot in mental health. That doesn't make me anything special, but I, I keep a close eye on it. And the damage we are doing to people is just extraordinary. We are creating a tidal wave of anxiety not just mental illness, but anxiety. And that anxiety is going to end up on our streets, at the school gate, in our classrooms, in our homes, in bars, in police stations, because anxiety manifests itself when people get angry and stressed. And then eventually it will end up in the NHS. I, I think we're in a really, really, really bad place. And I'm afraid the legacy of that, as I said in Parliament yesterday, is going to be a very long tale of mental health problems. Um, and, and a huge, as I've just said moments ago, wave of anxiety um, across society. And that isn't going to dissipate overnight. We've got people who are so terrified they won't leave their homes. We've got children who won't go outside because they're frightened if they catch something and bring it back, they'll kill their parents. We've got adolescents self-harming. We, ha we have just done, in my view, a terrible, terrible thing, a terrible thing having these various scientists on our airwaves and in our newspapers day after day after day after day bidding each other up scaring constituents my constituents to the point wh wh where some have just been debilitated again i'm sorry if i sound emotional it has been utterly disgraceful and i hope there's a public inquiry and i help hope people are held to account i'll be held to account at the ballot box yeah um, I want the cheerleaders for this, the ruthless cheerleaders for this. It may well be that they're right, but I want them held to account. I really do. I want a public inquiry and I want them held to account for what they've done.